still on education. The fate of all 2015 KCSE candidates hangs in the balance as a section of members of parliament call for either the reversal of the 5,101 results that were cancelled or a nullification of the entire exam. The members of parliament argue that the results were cancelled after recommendations by the discredited Kenya National Examination Council, which they say can no longer be trusted. Michelle Ngele with the details. Just days after it emerged that top Kenya National Examination Council officials leaked last year's national exams, Education Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi appeared before the Parliamentary Education Committee to chart the way forward on how the ministry plans to curb exam cheating. The media was, however, locked out of the meeting due to the sensitivity of the issue that has rocked the education sector. Up for discussion was a petition filed by Kiminini Member of Parliament Chris Wamalwa seeking the reversal of the 5,101 KCSE results that were cancelled due to exam irregularities. You decided to cancel only 5,000. What was the criteria? What was the basis? The minister is completely unable to answer. So there's nothing that they are doing here. It is just an issue of the PR exercise. And that's why those affected students, we should go to court. Calls for reversal of the cancelled results were fueled by a shocking report forwarded by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, which revealed that a cartel involving top NEC officials is responsible for national examination leaks. The report captures well-choreographed schemes employed by the cartel and how millions of shillings have been minted in the process since 2011. The Kenya National Examination Council is rotten, rotten, rotten. There is no justification why the minister can proceed to make decisions and to do what he's calling a drastic surgery at, at neck based on recommendations of the same discredited neck. Because Kenya National Examination Council with its rod cannot catch all students who cheated. Let all students have their dirty results or you nullify all and an unreset exam so that we can have you know, proper systems. Focus is now on the interim NEC board which held its first meeting Tuesday. And the new board, there are several things that they are going to work on including working on the examination that is going to be administered this year. It's possible that the 2016 exams have already leaked. It's possible that these exams are already all over the place. What guarantee does the minister, does the government give the people of Kenya that the exams of 2016 will not suffer the same fate? The board made the decision to suspend the council's CEO, Joseph Kivilu, and eight others pending investigations over exam cheating. With the massive rot discovered at the Kenya National Examinations Council, the fate of the 2015 KCSE candidates now hangs in the balance with calls for the reversal of the 5,101 cancelled results or the nullification of the entire exam altogether. Michelle Ngele, KTN News, Nairobi.